Imagine that you woke up this morning and you had access to designers and assistants and custom software specifically for print on demand sellers, specifically to help you win and speed up your process and help you make more money. Now that would probably lead to a higher chance of success for you. And there's great news. Custom GPTs from ChatGPT can actually be made specifically for print on demand sellers. And there are hundreds of custom GPTs that range from helping you create amazing designs to finding the SEO that you need to be using to rank and actually get traffic and sales, actually coming up with sub niches and design ideas and concepts that have potential and aren't oversaturated yet. So there are a whole host of tools and I wanna show you all of the different things that are possible with custom GPTs. The first one that I wanna show you is the Merch On Demand Shirt Designer. This is not just for Amazon Merch, but anyone doing t-shirt designing. You can upload a design. For example, this one was selling really well under the snake niche on Amazon. So I just simply uploaded this design and then the Merch On Demand custom GPT came back with this design that I think is gonna sell really well. I'm really excited to put it on a shirt. I'm really excited to put it on multiple items to be honest with you, but all I had to do was generate a couple times. Don't be afraid if it doesn't get the text right the first time to hit refresh. Usually by the third generation, you will get text that generates properly and you'll get a design that you're happy with. Sometimes you have to be patient, be careful with longer text designs, those are harder to generate. Try to stick with words with less than five or six letters. You start getting into some more complex words, it's probably not going to generate it and spell it correctly. But if you have shorter words, it's probably gonna have a higher chance of success. So these were some of the other designs that I gave it. I gave it Bigfoot at Mardi Gras. And at first it came back with different design, not exactly what we were looking for. And then I corrected it and said, please regenerate, but put the figure dancing in the center as Bigfoot. And this is what it came back with. Very different from our original design, but I actually prefer the one that we generated here than the, the original. Original. So I'm really happy with this as well. This just goes to show you how you can create designs with this custom GPT. Now, obviously you can do this with Dolly 3 inside of normal GPT. However, you're gonna have to type out your description. You're gonna have to give it a little bit more detail. This is going to be specifically generating t-shirt designs. And now keep in mind, it didn't really generate this one very well because obviously in order for this to work properly, it has to be a concept that the AI can actually understand. So if you have something very abstract that it doesn't understand, you either need to provide it with an additional prompt to help it understand what it's looking at, or you just need to have a design that has more simplicity behind it. So for example, I switched the design to this one where it's a rabbit riding a bicycle and now it actually was able to generate what I would consider a, a ready to go design. You could add some text to it if you wanted to, but this would make a great sticker for some some like Tee Public or Redbubble Marketplace. That is the Merch On Demand, Print On Demand t-shirt designer. It's gonna help you streamline the image generation process for yourself. It can do text. It can use reference images very well. Now let's move on to Merch Monster. Now Merch Monster is really cool. If you remember the original shirt that we put in, Just a Girl Who Loves Snakes, I put in this shirt photo and then it gave back the title bullets and brand. And so there were even some search terms in here, reptile owner, these are things that may or may not have thought of, floral serpent, keywords that were woven into the bullets and description and title. You're going to rank easier for this product and you don't actually have to go out and do all of this research and do this manually yourself. You can turn to something like Merch Monster and just simply submit your image and it will be good to go. So let's try and upload one more image and let's see what kind of description it comes back for maybe the Bigfoot Mardi Gras. So you can see that it has automatically detected that this is Bigfoot and Mardi Gras and it has searched Amazon and told us that this is a common concept. And so it's pulling out these search terms that are commonly used on the, that are probably for the listings ranked very well and very highly that are getting lots of traffic and sales. And so it's coming through and let's just read the first bullet here, Sasquatch silhouette in Mardi Gras Colors. So that's obviously something someone might search that was looking for this. And now occasionally you might have to go in and actually rearrange this and change it to make it 
fit what you're actually doing, but generally speaking, the AI is very intelligent and it is trained for this specific task. So bullet number one, Sasquatch silhouette in Mardi Gras colors, New Orleans parade enthusiast gear, Bigfoot believer novelty, festival carnival attire. So humorous cryptid costume top, funky celebration outfit. So notice how it avoided t-shirts and actual apparel product names. All it did was say top or outfit, which I believe Amazon merch will allow. So I love the second bullet too. It focuses on gift for Mardi Gras goers, cryptid trackers, Sasquatch seekers, ideal for friends, family, and folklorists. Now that's really awesome. Bat Tuesday celebrations. Um, this it really hits so many different keywords in here. And I'm gonna be using this, my listings, to determine whether or not this is better at picking out SEO terms than I am myself. It definitely is going to help speed up that process if you don't want to do your manual tag research or your manual listing writing. This is gonna help you a lot. Okay, so covers Merch Monster. Just to show you how to get to this screen here and get to the actual custom GPTs signed in, you're gonna look up in the top left and you're gonna see Explore GPTs. So if you click on that, then you'll be brought to this screen here where you can explore anything. And guys, it's not just print on demand. Obviously, there are so many custom GPTs. But let me show you this really, really cool GPT called Sub Niche Sniper. Many times when we try and sell something, we go into these big niches like cat or dog really just is harder to rank for those things. But what if we broke it down into different cat niches that we don't normally think of? This might normally take a while to do some research and figure out like what some niches are, but instead we're gonna ask sub niche sniper. So you come in here and you ask it, what are some popular but underrated cat breeds? And now it's gonna come back and it's specifically for print on demand. Notice here up at the top how it says this is gonna be specifically for a print on demand t-shirt business. And it's giving us some advice not to pick cat breeds that are in the mainstream because it's gonna be harder to rank for those. So here are some audiences that we can go after. Russian blue, cat enthusiasts, allergy sufferer. So it's gonna come through and just list out all different types of ideas that you could go with. Scottish fold, Norwegian forest cat, Abyssian, Devon Rex. Now these are all different types of cats. Some of them you may have heard of, some of them maybe not, but these are all sub niches. And obviously this applies to anything. There are a lot of nurse registrations out there, but nurse is such a broad term that what if we broke it down into sub niches to see what was possible? So there's registered nurses, there's licensed practical nurses, there are nurse practitioners, there are healthcare bloggers, there are medical conference attendees, all different types of professions in here, a CRNA. And guys, they all have different abbreviations, so you can find designs for each of these types of nurses, ER nurses nurses, trauma nurses, urgent care nurses. So if you're not feeling creative and you want sub niche sniper to help you figure out some sub niches, I think it's very, very powerful. Let me know in the comments if you found any print on demand or just in general, any really cool custom GPTs that are blowing your mind at the moment. I would love to know about it. I'm going to continue experimenting with these tools and I will let you know how it goes. But so far, AI generated designs with and without text have been doing extremely well in 2024 and the tools that we have available to us have never been better before. Join the pre-Facebook group if you haven't already. Like this video if you got value. If you're looking for a one-on-one -on -one consultation where we can dive into your print-on-demand business, your Facebook ads, your TikTok ads, Ads, whatever it is you're working with, we can get on a one-on-one -on -one call together and I can actually help you through those hurdles. Book that below. If you would like to apply for group coaching, we meet every single week as a group and we're discussing what works best in print on demand, what doesn't work, and we're going through strategies and the tips that it takes to actually succeed with print on demand. So if you're interested in group coaching, go ahead and apply for that below. Hope you have an amazing day, create something awesome, and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye.